Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the final quest of Act 7.4 and in this video I will be taking down the Smoger's Goat path. So the main note on this path is Smoger's Goat and what it does is that it gives the defender a 30 second cycle and whenever this cycle expires if we have less than 10, uh, less than 10 snack charges on the defender then they get a big 25% regen and it will recover their 25% of remaining health so the way we can get these snack charges is that whenever we apply a debuff on the defender then that debuff immediately gets purified and the defender gains one snack charge so the point of this node is that we need to use defend uh, we, we need to use champions with lots of debuffs so that when the timer of this smoker's board node hits then we have at least 10 snack charges and whenever that timer hits instead of gaining uh, the 25 percent of remaining health they will instead gain a 10 percent of degeneration so that's one way to counter this smoker's board node also there is foresight node uh, on this path as well so whenever we intercept the defender then we also gain a lot of attack boost in that way so first of all we have Hercules on this path and I will be using Tigra so Tigra also has lots of debuffs in the form of rupture debuffs and to gain these ruptures debuff I need to play Tigra very well, counter the heavy attacks and special attacks of Hercules with my heavy attacks of On and in this way I will be gaining lots of debuffs and snack charges and I will be able to just ignore the regeneration and the fight is already over in about 45 hits so that wasn't a clean fight because I'm not the best Tigra player but Either way, she was able to do the fight relatively quickly. So the next fight is going to be against Dr. Octopus and since Dr. Octopus is a metal defender so we can just use Magneto against him. Magneto with the 70% ability accuracy reduction should also be able to ignore the smoker's board node so we don't need to play around the 10 uh, snack charges as well the passive heal reduction from Magneto should just completely ignore the regeneration that these defenders get and upon the launching of special 3 we should be able to do plenty of damage to knock out this Dr. Octopus we are right now I'm just looking to build up to my special 3 and have plenty of prowess buffs before launching one special attack So I was able to launch the special 3 attack with 35 progress buffs and that should be more than enough to kill off this Dr. Octopus. The special 3 bleeds don't get purified by the smoker's board node because of Magneto's ability accuracy reduction and the fight was very straightforward with Magneto. I would definitely recommend bringing Magneto for this path because there are plenty of these metal defenders like Dr. Octopus then Odin up next is also a metal defender then there is Warlock as well so it's pretty important to bring Magneto for this path
So first of all, I am going in with Tigra. She should also be a very good option for this Odin as well. But you need to play her well. So my spacing on the punishment of Odin's special one wasn't proper and I got hit by his special one. And with the bubble shield the defenders also go unblockable on their 10th hit in our block so that was the end of Tigra. But now with Magneto since Odin is a metal defender so the fight will be pretty much same as the previous Doctor Octopus fight. I just need to build up to my special 3 and launch it with a good amount of prowess buffs. There's nothing to worry about the smallest board node. And this special tree should be the end of Odin as well. He's almost dead at 8% remaining health. And he finally goes down. Next up we have Yondu on this path. Now Yondu is obviously a bit of an annoying defender because of his ability to inflict bleeds whenever he strikes with an arrow. And he's also difficult to parry because of that arrow strikes. But in this case I will be using Apocalypse. So the main thing of using Apocalypse is that Apocalypse can completely ignore the smorgasbord node because he has 100% ability accuracy reduction against purifying abilities so the smorgasbord node cannot purify Apocalypse debuffs. As you can see the bleeds are ticking and not getting purified and the same will be the case with all of Apocalypse debuffs. Right now Yondu is gaining quite a bit of health but once I have enough of those debuffs then I will be able to out damage this Yondu very easily and the despair mastery will also help reducing most of the regeneration that this Yondu gets. So now all the debuffs of Apocalypse are locked in. So 
on that occasion the region wasn't as much potent because of despair mastery I only had one point in despair I think but it's still quite enough to make the region considerably less potent So in this fight I am actually going for a special tree with Apocalypse to make his debuffs permanent and also if you use Apocalypse special tree then all of his debuffs also become more potent. So the concussion by Apocalypse will also be able to just ignore the smoke sport node on many occasions. And before the node could even rehit, the debuff damage from Apocalypse debuffs was enough to knock out Yondu. So that was a bit of a lengthy fight, but nevertheless, it was very safe with Apocalypse. Next up is going to be Silver Surfer. And once again, I will be using Apocalypse. So just before launching my special one, I got the intercept and the big fury from the foresight node and the special one did a massive damage. So in this fight I don't even need to go through my special 3 because the special one with the intercept fury did a lot of damage and silver surfer is down. And now the final fight on this path is going to be against Warlock. And it's going to be a very straightforward fight with Magneto. I just need to reach to my special tree and launch it with a good amount of prowess buffs and the special tree should completely knock out Warlock because he is bleed immune and against bleed immune metal defenders Magneto does a massive amount of specialty damage.
So yeah, Warlock is down as well, thanks to a spectacular special free from Magneto. And so that was the last fight on the path. The final boss will be Kang. And I will be swapping in Odin for his pre-fights. I will be swapping him against Magneto because Magneto has truly done his job and I don't need him anymore. So my main attacker against this gang will be Horseman of Apocalypse Wolverine. He's a really good option for this gang because with the Odin pre-fights he has a lot of buffs, his regeneration buffs also come in handy and he also has a lot of bleed debuffs as a horseman as well and these bleed debuffs also become critical based upon a certain chance so overall Wolverine is a very good option for this Kang and I would definitely recommend using him if you have a Wolverine as a 5 star the main strategy in this fight is to keep an eye on the bands that this gang does and to avoid using those kinds of counter attacks Once we have 10 of these charges, then we can start doing the damage. Right now, parry is banned, so I probably needed to do something else and I intercepted. So right now I am in a really tight spot because I am in the corner and this Kang is constantly spamming his heavy attacks. So overall this Kang was a very fun fight. The only trouble that I had against this Kang was that sometimes he was a bit too passive with throwing his special attacks like in previous, uh, like in a few minutes ago. He was just constantly spamming his heavies against the wall and wasn't willing to throw his special attack. But right now he's in wounded phase so I'm doing a lot of bleed damage and lots of critical bleeds. He's going down very fast. So he's almost down to 15% of his health in one go. So yeah, if that was a 6 star rank 3 Wolverine then it would have been an easy takedown of the Kang's first phase in a single go. But even as a 5 star his damage is really impressive during the wounded phase. So yeah overall there's not much to say about this fight. You only need to fight this gang a couple of times so make sure that you have a couple of items at your disposal whenever you are approaching this fight and try to enjoy this fight because you are not going to fight him many times and it's overall a very enjoyable and fun fight. So yeah that's it from my side on this video's commentary and I will see you guys soon in the next one.
I can't turn down the noise, say all the words out of my mind About who I'm supposed to be, I start to believe I can't get it right Remember the days I let slip away, they were simpler times Mama told me before you leave If there's only one thing you remember from me Child, when you're out on your own A million miles from home Feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders Child, don't forget who you are Don't lose your head or your heart I'll bet my life on your stars You'll be dancing, dancing on the Sweet melody when I dance 
What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations They keep weighing me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out Just 